Alright guys, welcome to episode 3 of my... What the hell? It always ends up out of focus. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Yes, I still have a lingering cough. I don't know where it's from. Uh, I've had it for like three weeks and nothing worse than that. Just this lingering cough. Oh, So, yeah, back to Azendatur where we try to survive this mess. I think the next thing to do was uh, make us continue the stairwell on this side. Do I have enough material? Base salt? I have eight total. I need to get... Well, I have some obsidian, but I don't... Obsidian is better saved for other things. What's this? This is base salt right here. So let's... If that's base salt, let us begin this. What the hell? There we go. This project to... Um, open up the areas where there will be magma. Of course, it may take the guys a while to get around to it. Sleep. Yeah, look at them sleeping on the job. Really? Bastards. Bastards! I guess unhappy, still. I don't know what I can do to make them happy at this point. That guy's sleeping on the floor. I suppose soon they're going to have to have their own rooms. Considering the unhappiness of walking through filth, I might not be able to get away without without that, without making rooms for them. Uh huh. Let's see. Is that a is this one defined? Yes, it is. This one's not defined. A, B, C, D. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, please. <coughs> Wow, I even sound sniffly. That's great. So we might as well match on all sides and do this. But maybe, hopefully, there's some... Yeah, there's some dark stone up here in this corner, so that should help with the upper stairwells. Oh, look! Somebody's harvesting already! That's excellent! That's excellent. Harvest away, folks! Let's see. 29... Make one. They've made one wheelbarrow. They've done none of the rest of this stuff. But they've made one meal and one wheelbarrow. Out of the things I've told them to do, that is. What do we got? Yeah, pickleberry and quarry bush. Prickleberry, I believe, is from outdoors, out here somewhere, out in the slime fields, the filth fields, that is. <clears throat> well, let's take a moment to. Uh, Work on this a little bit. Make sure those walls are in place. I mean, I can do it now, so I should. Alright, 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 alright. Yes, make dome beds. Dude, you have a wheelbarrow. What are you doing carrying it manually? Mm -hmm. Fools! Absolute fools, indeed. You know what? Rock nest, too. You know what? Rock corn, too. Okay, make those as well, please. <gasps> yes! About friggin' time! All right, expensive cavern underground. Where was this discovered? Right there, okay. And the path ends in... Hey, look! Water. Wow. 76 down, and that looks like the the highest possible level cavern. There are, usually, there are always three. And um, the, the highest one only has, bring my cursor over, only has these kind of trees. Which means there's two more, even deeper than this, that have more exotic stuff. All right, all right, okay. And there's no immediate exit. I mean, uh, there's no, nothing can crawl up through my, uh, 
my stairwell there and kill me. Just yet, anyways. Something that was the flies can, but those are kind of rare. Yeah, they're busy doing their thing. That's pretty good. Have these been canceled? No. No? Okay. Give me a... Get that off your screen. Hey, hey, somebody made a thing. Make Moran, Praise, Amber, Pineapple, Red Zircon, Red Flash Opal, Claro Opal, lots of opals around here. <clears throat> okay. In fact, none of those gemstones sounded particularly uh, valuable. Oh, look. There's some more, more dark stone over here. Excellent. Yeah, made one if I definitely need more, need more people but the thing is as soon as I have more people <coughs> excuse me they're gonna be more needy they need more food more water it's gonna be a dangerous trade-off what is this sparse cave mo oh yeah that's something that happens <clears throat> excuse me once you expose a cave stuff that can grow down there will start growing in soily and sandy areas anywhere on your map so well underground so you can see here bits of bluish green yeah that's cave moss so that means cave trees from down below can actually start growing up here which is a good thing you know i can if i have enough of these spaces i could potentially then uh farm them migrants okay here we go now Migrants require an inspection upon arrival because of the high, unfortunately, probability of vampires showing up. This guy's not very good at anything, but let's take a look at him anyway. So let's see. Um, no. Well, yeah, let's take a look at his labor. He... Where's my cursor? Okay, good. He can already do dyeing and brewing. Brewing is a big deal to me. So let's turn that off. Increase the plant gathering and... Plant processing and milling. Let's give him the specialty of doing that stuff. And make it so he only moves food around. Uh, alchemy and architecture, sure. And under extreme circumstances where I call for it, detail stone. Okay, here we go. Here's another guy. Herbalist. He, or she, it's hard to tell. Plant gathering, plant process, cheese making... I'm okay with that. Milking, shearing, spinning, cooking. Yes, I need cooking, pressing, beekeeping. Uh, I'm going to make him more general. Farming, tanning, butchery. So he's still a food guy, but he's a little more hands-on. Again, I will make it so he doesn't have to help with anything except food. And maybe refuse in his case. Oops, I forgot to check him for credentials. So let's see, general, he's not very good at much, let's see, Z, health, relationships, wow, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting worse here, look at that list, wow, <clears throat> got a lot of aunts, a lot of aunts, some cousins, <laughs> Wow, okay. I wonder if that means that child will be forthcoming. So enter thoughts. Um, married to Bambukat, is a citizen of the Smith of Coal, member of the Desert Watch, former member of the Dagger of Polish, she is a former member of the Mortified Mountain, former member of the Frosty Knife of Beauty, arrived in Nesendor. That is a list high enough that it's possible that this person has a secret identity. So what we're going to do... It's not likely, considering the list of relatives, but just in case, I forgot how to do it though. Uh, customize. We're gonna give her a nickname. Peeps. Okay. So Peeps will be now prominent on our list of people who are a suspect of potentially being. Yeah. There's there's her son, I believe. Or daughter, was it? Ooh, stray calf. Ready for slaughter. Yes. What have we got? Another calf. That's not the same thing. Oh, a cat. Or a kitten. 
Uh, butcher. Now we're getting into a bit of a redundancy, especially at this. We'll allow him to do butchery, but I also want you to... I don't care about glazing. Do you have skill in glazing? I don't care about glazing. However, uh, I don't care about any of those right now. Hauling, again, uh, stone and food and refuse. And I want you to be an assistant in the stoneworks, since building is not going to be a low priority. Ranger! This guy hunts for a living. Let's see. L, hunting. Hunting, trapping, small. Let's give him all five. Healthcare. Hmm. What can he do when not hunting? Let's see. If you're not hunting, how about assisting as a fish cleaner? And leather working, bone carving, stuff related to what you might be hunting. Yep, for the time being, whoops, I forgot to check his credentials too. Okay, let's see. Z. <sighs> Citizen Smith of Cole, member of the Desert Watch, former member of Mechanical Turquoise, is a former member of the Submerged Lancer, former member of the Flowery Order. See, that's a lot. Four children. I think I'll let this go for now. That, that seems to be kind of par for the course around here, so maybe it's okay. Another child. How dare they have so many children? Oh, crap. Another child. Somebody who has to eat but contributes in no way. Actually, children do... Oh, more food. Children do help disassemble items, which I suppose is not... Oh, what have we got here? Green Zircons, reasonably valuable. <clears throat> Their destructive tendencies are well appreciated, I suppose. Let's uh let's continue this. And this. Okay. So our population's gone up a bit. Not uh, not as much as it could have. It's very random. Uh and this is some good food production involved, which I think is kind of important at this point. So I'm kind of happy with that. I didn't get as much uh, more assistance with the construction of things as I would have liked. But you, you gotta take what you can get. Let's see, what have we got? Cut Moran. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, our miner is good at jewel craft. So that means he's distracted from doing his job. Hmm. Not that it isn't also his job, but... A dedicated miner... I mean, a dedicated jeweler later will be of some use. Now, one thing I'm going to have to do before any of these here open up to uh, magma is cut off these these pathways in between. Put in floodgates or just fill them solid. Floodgates can be destroyed by certain creatures, so that might not be the wisest idea. But that kind of occurrence is actually quite rare. So I don't have to worry about it that much. Oh! Hunter's out hunting in the filth. He's got a camel, though. So food probably won't be a huge deal, but drink is going to be a problem for me. Farmer, you have no job. What are you doing? Or are you just between jobs right now? Yeah, look at that. That guy's thirsty. <clears throat> I realize he can go and drink, but still. I don't suppose they've made any nests yet. Nope. They've made one more easy meal. <laughs> and that's it. Okay. Guys, do your work. I should probably soon start deciding about superstructures. Rather, places where people live and work. Because right now, this is just like a grand hall that happens to be inhabited when that's not the actual point. <laughs> if I go down one here... You 
you know what? I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to open up these magma areas here to be much more inclusive so that the magma spreads more. But there's a bottleneck on either side. That way I get a little bit more stone. Whoops, I need to do this one as well. I get a little bit more stone out of it, which I'm going to need. Whoops, don't do this. But also, rooms above them could then have some kind of feature involved with magma. Okay. Yes, I, I, I kind of noticed that it was raining filth. <laughs> Let's see. Reclaim those. I thought there was a way I could make it so they automatically reclaim their ammo. One thing I wish the game did better was dwarven cleaning. Basically, uh... Oh, you know what? No. The refuse pile's not that bad. Let's see. What's going on upstairs? Let me check on this. It's coming along. Coming along. Unfortunately, I only added one guy to the uh, stoneworking regime. I'm going to have to have a refuse pile down below. They have to walk too far. That means I have to decide on dedicated areas for that sort of thing. Tan hide, hunt. <clears throat> I appreciate all the hides. In fact, actually, leather bag. Ten. I feel like I don't want him doing this right now. I'd rather you were digging, fool. I suppose I could then just run out of gems, and then he'll go back to digging. And then, oh, that reminds me. I need to have a trade depot up and running. Not a good location for it, I'm telling you right now. However, don't have much choice. It has to be accessible to traders. Which means I'm going to have to think about that. Ultimately, I'd like part most a good chunk of the city to be in the sky. So probably the depot will be up in the sky as well. What do we got here? Aluminum. Nice. And iron. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, horse foals. Sorry, horse foal. Horse, horse, horse foal. Mm. I'm going to make another refuse pile. Just so they can deal with the junk. What are you working on? Oh, oh, look at that. Some more meals were made. But that's it. <laughs> uh, guys, 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 guys. What have you been making? Oh, he needs a place to put all those cut stones. Let's see. Gem. Yes, might as well put it real close at hand. Only cut. Do a little bit of sorting right up front. Progress, please. Unfortunately, this may not have been a good choice of location, but I'm stuck with it now. Come on. How's the digging going? Why are you storing things in barrels, dude? How about you? You don't have to do... You honestly do not have to participate in the hauling of stuff. Neither do you. Ah! Yeah, and get rid of the haul... Oh, for crying out loud. There. Farming... I've got enough butchers. We don't need any more butchery from you. Miner. Let's see. Jewelry. 
Hauling no. Did you already? Let's see. Healthcare farming. Wood burning. I don't think we need you. Furnace operating is okay since it's not really happening right now. Okay. You guys, please be about more digging. Horse fat! Mmm. Yay, horse fat. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that one finally done? It is. Sweet pods, sweet pods, cave wheat and plump. <clears throat> Excuse me. It looks like most of those fields are planted at this point. It's good. It's good. The problem is they're not... I don't see any evidence that they've done any brewing. No, no brewing. Might be for lack of of uh, barrels, though. And unfortunately, I don't have the re I don't really have the means to make barrels. However, they should be making stone pots, and that doesn't seem to be. I, I just made it the highest priority because they need something to be able to brew their alcohol into. Struck native gold. Very, very good. Where? Oh, look at that. More dark stone. Excellent. Poor guys are still so slow. I mean, that guy right there is pretty fast. Where are we seeing this? Where? where? Oh, up and downstairs. He's, he's doing... Okay, good. Very good. Yeah, look at that. He might actually end up in the... Hmm, I should be careful. Let's see. Troll, where are you? Okay, you're right next to a gold vein. Oh, look at those! Emeralds! Woo! That's nice. Emerald. I'll have to, later on when I have nobility, I'll have to make emerald windows. Just for him. Troll, you stay there. I don't want to have to deal with you. Okay. Trolls can be pretty nasty. Ah, look at that. Yep. Oh, good, there's a tree in the way. <laughs> that means nobody can cross over. Excellent. Unless they can walk across the top of a tree. Right here, you see this? Open space, though. So I guess I'm safe for the moment. Sure would be nice to find the next cavern down. Brimstone? Wow. That is not something I see very often. Okay. Cat's eye. Oh, I'm seeing thirsty people. 23 meals. Come on, come on. <laughs> dig away, dig away, dig away now. Dig away, dig away, dig away now. Return kill. I suppose the one problem is he can overhunt. I'm not sure I want them to overhunt. How are they getting in and out? Oh, let's continue the stairwell anyways. How's this stairwell up here doing? Oops, where is it? There it is. So let's see, how is that... Actually, that looks like a pretty promising level to be on anyway. So let me... To find the next one up... as sort of the top of, or the bottom of our new city. Because you can see there's not many obstructions 
all the way around. So that's good. That's good. Hello, diggers. Digging, digging, digging. Thank you, thank you. Looks like uh, some more opals. Yeah, amber opals. What have we got? Table cut pineapple opals. Brown, brilliant cut amber opals. <gasps> they made another wheelbarrow. You know what? I want to collect some exotic stones as well. Actually, I just want to collect stone. Get somebody to use those uh, wheelbarrows for something. Generally not a good idea to collect random stone because it keeps your guys way too busy doing things that are not a high priority. But right now I kind of want them to be a little bit busier and keeping stone a little bit closer to home. So I think that's probably a fine idea. For now... Hmm. You know, I could cap this volcano right here. I could open up this entire space and put down flooring. Which reminds me, actually, I'm going to need grates. Because if I, if I don't have stone grates, stuff that can uh, withstand this right here, um, the like obsidian would be a good choice. If it, it something that is magma safe, but will keep magma creatures from coming in, that would that's necessary. So it looks like I'll need eight total. Problem is I'm gonna need them to um, do that based on type of stone, which is not always easy. Actually, there is a way. There is a way. In fact, actually, let's do that now. So Z stone. Obsidian is currently allowed. Other stone. Let's, whoops. How do I get to other stone? Tab. Okay. If I deactivate these, they will not be used for any kind of construction. They will not be available in any list. So basically, the only thing that should be in the, in the list right now is... Um, uh, what is it called? Uh, obsidian. So let's see. BC wall. Just as an experiment. Yep, obsidian. Okay, so presumably now they will use that to make all of the stone things. So rock, great. Eight. Put that to the top of the list. Uh, they still haven't made any pots. They've made one quern. That's going to be good. B, W, oops, W, Q. Quern, what? Oh, it must still be in transit to a storage space somewhere. If it's in transit, it won't show up on the list of uh, things that you have access to. Because it's currently wrapped up. Look at that. Look at that. See? He's using the wheelbarrow right there. Woo wheelbarrow. That is a nice new addition to the game. Um, or I realize it's probably been around for a while, but it's new to me. <laughs> I had not played for like a year, uh, waiting for the new version to come out. And now that I'm playing, it's actually probably getting close to coming out. Which is fine, I'll just start up a new fort uh, after, and let this one have some sort of quote-unquote accident <laughs> to end the series, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Oh, man. Oh, look at that, look at that. Whoops. DP. That right there, I, I don't think it's food, but it is a plant. Warm stone located. Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot about that. At least it sort of gets town towards the end of the list of things. My episode's nearly run out. Okay. I should probably, before I even start another stairwell, get this one taken care of. What do we got? Cartilage. <laughs> Bone. Hmm. Bone, uh, bone crafts. Just to keep somebody busy. Making stuff that could be sold off. Two traders. Actually, traders. Traders, 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 traders. Where did I put that? Right there. Okay, that has... Oh, suspended. Why was that suspended? That's not cool. Hmm. 
Hmm. Don't suspend. How many items does it have? I don't see that it has any items. Oh, that's not cool. You're not allowed to do that. Dig, 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 dig. Yeah, they have so much work to do. So the food's collecting, that's good. Is that a table? That is a table and a throne. Ooh, very nice one, actually. BC, let's put them here. Um, give my guys a place to sit down and have a snack. That would make them slightly happier. Ah, excuse me. Okay. Now, if I was wise, I would call this an episode um, and uh, record a little bit more later. So, uh, thanks for watching. I realized not much happened, though we did find a, a cavern, so that's probably what the title will reflect. Uh, and uh, let's see, let's zoom out and enjoy the perspective just a little bit. Here you go. Let's go up. Mm -hmm. Right there. We got one tower poking up out of the hill over there, and another one underway down there. And then down below, we've got, whoa, warm. Okay, so we're going straight to the bottom then. Going up and up and up and up and up. Whoop. And there we hit a cavern. So basically, that's not much space for two more sets of caverns. So they're probably fairly shallow in, in height. But there's the cavern as far as I understand it so far. And up 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 and up. So things are underway. All right. Thanks for watching and please come again next time.